Good morning. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show, Red Pill Edition. My name is Leon Jones. And in this segment, I'm going to talk about black folks and Gen X and the baby boomers. Now, why is this significant? Well, it's significant because my generation, Generation X, was the guinea pig to what the baby boomers passed down. So, the title of this video is Generation X and the Baby Boomers have nothing to offer younger folks. Generation X and baby boomers have nothing to offer young folks. Now, as a 56 year old African American male, there are exceptions to rule. So we already know it's not all. But when I talk about those two previous generations, I'm looking at it from this perspective. When it comes to wisdom, there are some Gen Xers, there are some baby boomers who have passed down wisdom. Now, I'm basically talking about in the African-American community. Because if you look at the situation with the African-American community, and shout out to Minister Jap for saying this, many of us older blacks only know these three things. I'm going to say these five things, because I talk about the five power conferences of society. We talk about having a job. We talk about the education system. We talk about religion. We talk about the media, the mainstream media. And then we basically talk about getting handouts from the government. Now, all those are very significant because if you look at the majority of older African Americans, you find that they're on that Democratic plantation. They believe everything the Democrats tell them, but yet the Democrats haven't done anything for them. But yet, most of the older African Americans still vote for them. Why? And there are too many African Americans out here, particularly the older ones, who are comfortably working on a job. You've had some that work for the steel mills or other ventures for 30 to 40 years, retired, they got a pension, they don't care about anything else. And as older African Americans, and what better person to hear from than an older African American who has seen a lot of this. But from my perspective, I don't play into what the older African Americans stand for. Because the funny thing about me is I created a business called Quality Control Inspection Services. It's my own small construction firm. I did the business plan. I paid for the trademarking. I did the logo. I came up with ideas for a website. And my website is still out there called QCISINC.com. If you look it up, you'll find out what I do. Yes, I have to revamp the website. 
But where I'm going with this is older African Americans do not promote businesses. This is why we're at the bottom. We promote validation from what we call a white man system. Many of us, when we go to work, we're not thinking in the terms of an employer, we're employees. Now, if you look at the African-American community, many of us don't have communication skills. Many of us lack skills when it comes to structure. Now, that's toward one another. Because when African-Americans go to work, and I'm talking about the older African-Americans, oh, we will kiss up to a boss. We will kiss up to a pastor. We will kiss up to the government. We will kiss up to the education system. We will kiss up to a media. But in the long run, the older African Americans don't get any respect from the younger African Americans. It's because when it comes to talking to some of these old folks out here, now I'm in a fraternity called Phi Eta Psi. And I know some of my brothers are listening to this video right now and I respect them but for the most part they're still stuck on that democratic plantation they're still thinking about marching in the 1960s well that fight has been gone for 50 years but it seems like we're still fighting that you got people here who are hoteps Older African Americans like Van Jones, like Louis Farrakhan's son, they talk about being strong black people, but those two individuals, and you have some others out there, they're married to the race that they claim that they don't like, but yet they benefit from that race that they don't like. And in my last video, I had mentioned the patriarchy. Well, some African-American women believe that patriarchies don't work, but matriarchies definitely don't work because in a matriarchy, for the most part, what a number of the African-American women wanted was they actually believed in feminism. And now they really believe in feminism and the LGBTQ movement. And as an African-American man or well, African-American men are being disrespected by this modern and Gen X African American woman. Why? Because it all comes to this. The older African American women never passed anything down to the current African American women when it came to having relationships, communications, because what went on in the older African American families when it came to men was okay, you did have a number of cheating men, uh, you did have a number of men who were molesting their children. You had women who were also molesting their children as well. A, a lot of what went on during the Gen X and the baby boomer times existed, although we talk about it as being what white folk do. No, African Americans do the same thing. However, it was all swept under the rug. And when you sweep something under a rug and you deny it all your life and you pass it down, you basically become disingenuous to the younger generation. And when it comes to the older generations, some of them are still looking at television. Well, television doesn't provide you with accurate news anymore. This is why individuals come over to YouTube. And when I do YouTube videos... I not only bring factual perspectives, but I also put my own experience within the subject matter that I talk about. Because when it comes to truth, there are a number of truths, even if people disagree with you. See, you can't fake the truth when you're living the truth. And for me, you look at so many older individuals here on YouTube. Now, my channel here is not monetized. 
I have never done a live stream. But you have a number of individuals who are older individuals. They're depending on this platform to get rich. And I hate to tell you, some of you are not going to get rich. Why? Because when you make content here on YouTube, you have to build an audience. You have to be able to speak with knowledge of the subject matter. But that's besides the point. Let me get back to the older black people. When I see older black people like a Roland Martin who was fired from CNN talk to an African American male and he really disrespected that 21 year old African American male because he was talking about buying the school, buying school buses, helping other African American males out. Well, a lot of these older African American men, and I've seen it myself, they're the ones who actually started simping. They're the ones who allowed women to run over them. They allowed their mothers to emasculate them. They allowed their mothers to make them feel as if they were nothing. A lot of these older African-American males were afraid of their mothers. But yet, these are the individuals who call the African-American women queens. Now, Per se, if you go back into the 90s with the older generation, many of the older African-American individuals, particularly from the Generation X and Baby Boomer generations, didn't talk about building anything. And if you put an idea in front of them, let's say you want to develop an app. Well, when you talk about producing something that will help the community, the older African-American men and women are going to put you down. Why? Because they've been indoctrinated by this plantation system to be workers. When it comes to knowledge of anything, they don't have knowledge. They look at television. They gossip. They're never up to current events. You have some individuals who are older who don't understand how a computer operates. At least my dad, he's an older baby boomer. Taught me everything I needed to know about a computer. Taught me what I needed when it came to business. Taught me about being responsible. Taught me to be a man. Pass down some wisdom. And I'll pass it down to my son. Now, there are individuals, and I'm going to break out the exception right now, who did do a good job in their generation Xers and baby boomers. But see, you have a number of millennials that are disrespectful themselves and when they have been failed by a number of the Gen Xers and the baby boomers if you are a Gen Xer and you have something real to pass down to them they're not going to believe you either because they were destroyed by their own parents because some of the millennials were what I call children that were born from fun. These children who were millennials were basically paychecks. Because one thing I can tell you about the generation, X generation, we're the ones that saw a lot of welfare benefits. Generation X, we were told that you have to go to school to get an education. See, everything was 
basically talking about getting out here, work for the white man, making him rich. And at the end of the day, many of us are still poor. We're working our fingers to the bone. Many of us don't have skills. Many of us don't want to get businesses. Many of us have basically given up. And I hate to say this, but when it comes to Gen X and the baby boomers, many of us did get too comfortable. And we don't want to do anything for the younger folks. The problem is, we don't have anything economically to pass down to the younger folks. They're not going to be able to pass anything down. And if you look at a lot of these older men and women, when they went to the polls and voted for Joe Biden, they basically voted for more immigration, abortion, LGBTQ, feminism, higher gas prices, less opportunities to make money, stimulus checks, and you have to be very careful when it comes to stimulus checks because they're talking about a fourth stimulus check. And one thing you need to understand, and this is what older African Americans don't understand, they believe in government too much. Government cannot save your life. I don't ever want to be dependent on the government to help me live. Government is supposed to be there to protect my rights. But yet, it seems to me, when it comes to these older African Americans, they vote for rights to be taken away, like Second Amendment rights, free speech. Because a lot of your older African Americans are very liberal. Many of them who even gone to college are still uneducated because they don't know how to apply the education into the real world. This is why they can't solve real world problems. And many African Americans, particularly the women, they believe in white Jesus for all of their hope. A lot of these African American women, particularly the older African American women, have taught these younger African American women that you don't need a man. You can be independent. Well, that kind of logic has failed the younger millennial women because the younger the women are, the more masculine they act. And then you look at a number of these men out here. A number of these older African-American men, particularly in the Gen X generation, are soft themselves. They believe that you have to give a woman everything. And they play into being that simp so they can sleep with some of these women out here. You got to be careful when it comes to simping because when you are leading with your wallet to get a woman, and this is what the older African-American men did, and this is what they're teaching the younger African-American males. And thank goodness, I do see a lot more free-thinking younger African-American males because in the long run, these older African-American males, they still believe in fighting for civil rights. Again, civil rights went out the door back in the 60s and 70s. The fight right now is LGBTQ. In fact, if you are a free-thinking African-American male like myself, the people who, are, who we really are fighting against, it's not white supremacy out here, although there are areas that do exist when it comes to white supremacy. I don't like to use the term white supremacy because when I say that, that makes me look at white, white people as superior and me as inferior. But a number of African American men and women of the older generations do look at white people as superior. They're not going to tell you that, but in the long run, they depend on white people for their sovereignty, but yet they'll 
they tell you they don't like white people. Again, going back to the African American men of Generation X and some of the baby boomers, what are the reasons why we don't have anything to pass down to the younger generation is because many of us weren't taught how to be entrepreneurs. Many of us, like I said, have been taught to worship white Jesus, go to work, get a wage, not be responsible because if you look at it, we're respectful toward, again, people who are in power on the job, a pastor, an instructor in college, the media, and of course, the government. And the reason why we are more tolerant of those areas is because if we're working in those areas or if we're getting benefits in those areas, they could be cut off at any time. But we're disrespectful when it comes to each other. We go back and forth. And when it comes to African-American men and women, the younger African-American men, I see are thinking more and more independently, whereas the older American men, they're still in line with the older African-American women. In fact, basically, both of them have a matriarchal mindset. Both the older African-American men and women are still on that Democratic plantation. Now, if you don't believe me, you look at how many of them voted Democrat. And if you look at it right now, because they voted Democratic, you look at gas prices. I mean, I drive a SUV and to fill it halfway up, and I'm talking about getting regular gas. Now, unlike where Minister Jap lives in Chicago, he gets that premium. He said he was paying $4. I don't know what kind of car he drives, but even the type of vehicle I drive, I live here in Indiana, and gas is two seventy three. dollars And to fill my car up halfway, that's still $30. Well, this is what happens when you vote for Democratic causes. Black Lives Matter. You have a number of African-American men and women, older African-American men and women, who support Black Lives Matter. I know my own family members. They still support everything Democratic. But if you ask them, well, why did you vote for Biden? They're going to give you this song and dance. Well, I voted for Biden because Trump is racist. But I also voted for Biden because we have a black vice president. Well, just because somebody looks like you, it doesn't mean that they are going to think like you. That person that looks like you, that's the one where you're going to get your most problems from. Why? Because when it comes to older African-American men and women, there's a lot of envy. And there's a lot of envy against the younger African-American men and women. But I say particularly the African-American men because there are a lot of programs out there to help a number of the African-American women, but at least you, you have some African-American women out there who are also rejecting what these older African-American women are telling them. Because see, the older African-American men, a correction, the older African-American women who are from the Gen X generation and baby boomer generation, they still live in their delusional world and they're trying to compete with the younger African-American women. And they despise the younger African-American women who want families. You see, these older African-American women, they went and got their education. They didn't major in anything 
that is marketable so they utilize that education to number one think that they know more than the black man and number two they use it to disrespect the black man because again they think they're more independent because they have an education I'm talking about the older generation X black female and the older baby boomer females they think they have it all but yet they live in a delusional world and when it comes to the black men talking to some of these older black men out here is like talking to a number of older black females you get emotional in fact when it comes to black people in general many of us look to religion to try to solve our problem religion and government and in the end we're still being kept down because we don't take the time to get into information. We don't look at information. We may see something that we agree with, but we're afraid to go and step into arenas that we don't agree with. We're afraid to start something. And see, one thing about the older African-American men and women, many of them weren't creative. They didn't build any internet. And I can tell you right now, when I went to college with a number of them, for the most part, I went over to STEM. We were talking about the internet computers in the 90s. Because see, when Gen X came along, this is when you had to transition from the old way of doing things to what's going on currently. The only difference between now and the 90s, everything has been improved. It's Instead of it being macro, it's been micro. Your computer is now in your phone. Your phone is not that big Motorola backpack phone that you had and it's not that brick Motorola phone that you had with the antenna it's just smaller but this is from the innovations of what happened in the 90s it just got better it improved but when it comes to religion too many older African American men and women still believe in this man made religion. Now, today is Easter. And what individuals don't understand, Easter is a pagan holiday. And we do not know history. In fact, when it comes to slavery, it was black people who sold black people into slavery. You also had black slave owners. I know Anthony Johnson was one black slave owner. We talk about Harriet Tubman. But there were other underground railroads as well. You had people like Nat Turner. But when it comes to African Americans, many of us don't believe in each other. We will go and buy from a white business instead of a black business because we're so envious and jealous of one another and I, I, I just want to say this to the older folks you're going to have to admit this and don't be afraid to admit this just say you dropped the ball Gen X and the baby boomers dropped the ball I mean there were some things that I could have done better. But many of us were out there chasing pussy, buying liquor, going to college, having frat parties. We didn't see the future. And then we weren't given 
the opportunities from the prior generation to see the future. Because the only thing that we have been shown as older African-American men and women, and we're passing the same thing down to younger African-American men and women, we've been shown to be individuals to stay on a plantation. That's why we, as African-American men and women, the older generations, are not respected. Because we have the employer mindset, correction, we have the employee mindset instead of the employer mindset. And our attitude is this, we don't care about the younger generation. Because many of us are going to retire, but at the end of the day, many older African American men and women will always be stuck on a plantation. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for some education, Check out the Mind of STEM channel. On that channel, I give you a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, I'm not taking any donations. Again, my channel is going to remain free. But if you want some deep, in-depth conversations, check out my blog talk radio. Let me get that started back up. 215-383-5785 is the number. And if you can't find me on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, you can check me out on Twitter, MeWe, and Parlor. And at the end of the day, I'm going to leave you with this. Be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Always know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And once again... I'm not saying that all older African-American men and women did not do any teaching, but it's enough of us to prove this point because when you hold down a generation, you stop progress in a race. And once again, I thank you for listening to this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show here on YouTube. Till next time. My name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious day. God bless you. I'm out.